not long ago, one of my viewers contacted me and suggested that I could use common salt, sodium chloride, to degas aluminium. And he said that it actually breaks down under heat into chlorine. And this is the book that where he found it from. So here we are on page 107. It says chlorine as a flux. Volatile chloride salts have been used for years for fluxing aluminium. They include zinc chloride, aluminium chloride, sodium chloride and potassium chloride. When these salts are heated, they break down to release chlorine gas. So on the next page, it says in the process of removing hydrogen from the aluminium, the chlorine is released from the flux as a gas. This is what I'd like to find out whether it actually does do that or not. Now we've gotten some molten aluminium and we'll use the salt as a flux. You can hear the reaction there. That's probably the moisture in there. Give it a gentle stir in. Now the crackling has subsided, which means all the moisture is gone. Now it hasn't done much at all, and if it breaks down and gives off chlorine gas, I can't smell a single bit of chlorine gas. If you don't know what chlorine gas smells like, go to a swimming pool. It has a very distinctive odour. Now the second thing I'd like to try is the light salt which contains potassium chloride and sodium chloride. I'll sprinkle a bit on there and we'll see what happens. Again there's a lot of crackling because there's moisture in the salt. We'll give it a bit of a stir in. Now there is absolutely no reaction there. I cannot smell any chlorine gas. Now for the next experiment, because the last one was a failure, I'm going to melt the salt, which is a lot higher than the temperature where you pour aluminium at. There is the molten salt. It's got it really hot, but there's no chlorine coming off. There's a few little fumes, but there's absolutely no chlorine coming off the molten salt. Well, I've had two goes at trying to break down the salt, sodium chloride, into chlorine, and that hasn't worked. Now we need a basic chemistry lesson here. Sodium chloride is a mixture or a compound of sodium metal and chlorine gas. They're combined. It is a very stable compound and what I've found with the heat it does not break down. Now if it does break down it will give off sodium metal as well as chlorine gas. 
Now chlorine gas is a very toxic gas, it's a green colour gas and you know it's there. But also sodium is an extremely reactive metal and if it's put in molten aluminium it will burn with an intensely yellow orange flame. Now I'll show you here, this is a little vial of sodium. It's actually meant to be put in molten aluminium and it tightens up the grain. There's about 12.5 grams in there. Now I've opened up the container and I'll cut a bit off. It's very soft. And as soon as you cut it, it'll go a darker colour again because it's very reactive. Now in the next experiment, we'll see just how reactive that metal is and this is what happens if sodium chloride breaks down into sodium and chlorine. Now watch what happens when I add the sodium metal to molten aluminium. Pretty spectacular isn't it? And this is what happens if you separate sodium from the chlorine in salt, the sodium being so much lighter will float on the top and will instantly catch fire. That's how you know when you've separated sodium from chlorine. As you can see in the last experiment, when I added the sodium metal, it burst into flame. It was a nice orangey yellow colour, but what I forgot to say is, potassium chloride, if that breaks up, well the potassium burns with a beautiful purple coloured flame. So, can you actually degas aluminium with sodium chloride or potassium chloride? Well no you can't, it's a total waste of time because you are not producing any chlorine gas and also if you can produce chlorine gas it has to be bubbled through the melt not sitting on top. Now one last thing the book mentioned zinc chloride and aluminium chloride because I don't have those chemicals I'm going to have to make a future video and try them out and to see if they break down into chlorine and degas aluminium